Hey everybody, happy Saturday. Hope everything's going well for you. Um, I've been a little quiet uh, on social media and that's because really the last month has been uh, pretty insane for our household. So uh, I was in Key West for two weeks for work. Um, I mean, aside from the work stuff, awesome nightlife, uh, great uh, seafood, great fishing out there. Overall, it was a blast, but not much overlanding to be had. So it is nice to be back with the family and uh, back with the Jeep. Um, I got my two-year-old here. We're just out working in the garage. Um, and I just wanted to uh, give you guys some channel updates as well as bring you along for some upgrades I got for the Jeep uh, while I was gone. Uh, I got to meet up with Trail Newbie last weekend, which was a blast. Him and I have been talking on Instagram for a while, um, and we happen to live pretty close together. We're actually going to go out in uh, a few weeks from now, and so I wanted to get these upgrades installed and show you guys what's coming next for the Jeep. Uh, all right, so let's do it. Oh boy, now this is a shovel, guys. Uh, this is by Crazy Beaver Tools. Um, again, I waited a couple months for this thing because they've been selling out like hotcakes, I guess. But I've been looking for a shovel uh, that can easily mount to my Jeep. This thing's being about uh, maybe about three feet long, gives me a lot of cool mounting options. Uh, additionally, with the teeth out here, which was kind of what makes this unique, uh, makes it a lot easier to dig into some hard packed dirt. Uh, and my main purposes for this, honestly, is to first be able to dig myself out of snow. And I'm hoping that with these teeth as well, it kind of helps dig into ice a little bit. Um, and then additionally, you know, if I need to dig out a latrine or, or whatever it is, uh, shovel's just a good thing to have in the backcountry. Uh, additionally, what's cool about it is, I mean, it's about 80 bucks. It comes with a cover so you don't stab yourself with the teeth, which are actually kind of blunt. They, you know, they aren't as sharp as, as you probably would think. Um, and then they have these quick fist mounts, um, which I'm going to show you how I'm going to use those. And I think uh, that tied in with this uh, small shovel makes this a really nice... Cool small four factor that you can pretty much mount anywhere you can find some space. Um, I think I'm actually gonna save this for another video though. I'd really like to get the uh, track bar installed. I'm gonna get an oil change cooking as well. Uh, I just put the baby down for a nap, so uh, let's get to work. So the first upgrade I got is a new track bar. Uh, the track bar that I have actually came with the Jeep when I bought it, and I think this Jeep originally had like a two inch Mopar lift. Um, it is adjustable, so the, the axle has been centered, but the rubber bushings that came with that track bar are totally shot, and I think it's adding to some play in my steering wheel. As you can see here, as I move the steering wheel back and forth, uh, there's actually a little bit of play in the bushing before uh, it takes that kind of slack out. So um, again, I think that's why I'm seeing some slop in my steering, and I'm really hoping this is gonna fix it. But in addition to uh, needing to upgrade for the bushing reason, I figured why I'm there, uh, there was a 4th of July sale, and I figured I'd capitalize on it. This thing is the uh, Steer Smarts Yeti XD Pro uh, track bar. Uh, what's cool about this is it has polyurethane bushings instead of rubber bushings, so they definitely should last longer. Uh, it is fully adjustable, and I know you guys can't tell, but this thing weighs a lot. Uh, this part of the track bar itself has to at least be probably 20 pounds, uh, maybe even 30 pounds. It's over an inch and a half thick, uh, almost closer to an inch and three quarters, uh, and it is absolutely burly. So this should take out any kind of slop I have between the frame side of my track bar uh, and the axle, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and get this installed today. All right, so we got the oil change cooking, and before I start with the install, I'm sure a couple of you guys out there are wondering, what the heck is a track bar? Uh, myself included here, before I bought this Jeep, I really knew nothing about uh, working on cars. Um, and you know, I'm kind of restricted on time, but when I can, I'd like to try to do some of this stuff myself, uh, and just that way I kind of teach myself how everything works and why it's there. So, the track bar. It is this bar right here. Uh, it attaches from the frame runs all the way down and attaches to the actual side of this bracket. Now why is it important? Well, the track bar is basically what controls the lateral or side to side movement of your whole front axle. So if there's any play in it, uh, or if it wasn't there, uh, the wheels could, or the axle itself could move basically side to side uh, with the only restriction being the control arms. So obviously if the bushings go bad or there's any play in your track bar, that's gonna allow your vehicle while you're driving or your uh, front axle specifically to move side to side. 
the install for this is actually super simple. Uh, shout out here actually to Disciple Off-Road. Jeremy over there took a look at my Jeep um, and had me turn the wheel a bit and he's actually the one that found some of the play here uh, in the bushing. So I'm hoping this solves the issue. Uh, but this is a really simple swap. We're basically gonna take two bolts out, remove the old one, we're gonna measure it, uh, and then with the new one, we're going to basically set it so that the length is the exact same, and then we'll reinstall it. And that's all there is to it. So let's get started. That's all there is to it. So check this out, just for a brief comparison's sake. <laughs> the old one here, the whole thing probably weighs about half as much as just the center section of the steer smarts. You can also look at just the sheer difference in size and diameter uh, and tell how much more burly this thing is than the uh, Mopar version. All right, the next thing we're gonna do here uh, is thread on this collar to each end of the track bar. This collar basically allows adjustment in and out to lengthen or shorten the track bar itself. Uh, and we do that so that the axle is centered laterally underneath the Jeep. Additionally, we wanna put these little collars on each end here uh, so that once we're all done, we can go ahead and cinch this down and that'll really tighten this collar onto the track bar. We're gonna basically move the Jeep side to side here. My wife actually just walked out, so I'll let her say hi to you all. Uh, she's about 24 weeks pregnant, so uh, I'm not gonna ask too much of her, but uh, we're basically just gonna move the Jeep side to side, and that'll kind of help center the axle underneath the frame. All right, ready? There we go. All right. Sweet. Now we're gonna mount it back to the Jeep. Before we cinch everything down, I'm gonna go and take a straight edge to both tires, just like this, and then we'll measure uh, from the straight edge to the fender on both sides, just to make sure that the, uh, the axle is more or less still centered under the Jeep. Once we've done that, then I'll go ahead and torque everything down on the track bar. All right, well, we got the track bar installed, uh, so I figured while I'm finishing the rest of the oil change, uh, I could just kind of sit here and chat with you guys, at least for those who care, want to listen kind of about uh, what's been going on uh, with the channel, uh, with my you know life in general, that kind of thing. For those of you who don't know, I'm a uh, full-time military pilot, um, specifically I'm in the Navy, uh, stationed here in California. 
The challenge is with the channel is trying to find free weekends and free weeks when we're not flying to go and do longer adventures, which is why kind of a lot of what you guys end up seeing are weekend trips because, well, generally that is what I have available. Um, thankfully, here coming this fall, my schedule is going to open up a little more. Um, and I can talk in more detail about that later, but um, it actually kind of works out because honestly, uh, my favorite time to explore around here is the winter for sure. Um, and there's a lot of reasons for that. One, because it's quiet. Two, because I absolutely love the snow. Um, and that's kind of what I grew up in. And, uh, you know, it just kind of cuts down on the dust. Uh, you know, there's just a lot of things. So um, I'm really more of a winter camper. But that said, to take my family along, a lot of times it needs to be warmer. So I think in future videos here, I am going to try to you know bring them along um, especially as my son Carson gets older uh, it will probably be or hopefully be a little easier to do so um, he does find the tent it's just kind of keeping him corralled around the uh, the camp area that is the challenge so for any of you guys that have kids out there any recommendations you have uh, I really appreciate it um, I definitely want to be able to bring them along and that's a huge reason why I bought the iCamper and uh, and kind of outfitting the Jeep the way I am so Really, you know, as Carson gets older, um, I think it'll be definitely easier, but uh, you know, I'd like to take him out now. So yeah, whatever recommendations you guys have, uh, leave me some feedback, I definitely would appreciate some tips. And additionally, uh, probably the biggest news in our family is, uh, I don't know if you guys have caught on in previous Instagram posts or videos, but my wife is pregnant and uh, we just found out it's another boy. So hope to God that the Jeep can hold everybody. Um, even if it can, it doesn't matter because I'm never getting rid of this thing. Um, actually, Edward Shin sent me a message saying you're going to need a bigger car. and He's probably right, but uh, yeah, this baby's not going anywhere. So we'll have to figure it out. I'm really excited, uh, especially Carson having another brother is going to be great. Um, I can't tell if my wife is excited to have more boys in the house or not. I mean, I'm sure she is, but uh, so we're really excited about that. Um, and that's kind of brought some, you know, added complexity, but added excitement to our life as well. I've been posting a lot of pictures about the drawer system that I have in the back. Uh, it is by Big Country 4x4, and I actually partnered with a company out of Texas called uh, Rugged, uh, Rugged Bound Supply Company. And they actually provided me the drawer in order to use to try out and review. Um, so there's gonna be a video following that. You saw the install video uh, maybe that I did about a month ago, but that thing has been great so far. That's gonna be a total game changer with how we uh, are able to camp as a family. Um, the biggest thing there is that I can just keep all my stuff in the drawer uh, at all times. So really, when we wanna pack up and go, all we have to do is uh, get the food ready and uh, just basically pack all the clothes and the baby stuff and then head on out. Um, so anyways, expect that, uh, but please, if you guys have any questions, uh, shoot me comments about that uh, in the section below, and then uh, check out Rugged, uh, Rugged Bound Supply Company, sorry for screwing that up, on Instagram uh, for more of their products as well. Other than that, guys, I'd love to know what kind of content you'd all like to see. Uh, you know, a big reason I just kind of started this channel is just because, uh, A, I like exploring, um, but I wanted to you know, be able to bring people along while I was doing it. This isn't going in quite right. Uh, I enjoy really the kind of the videography aspects of it as well, uh, you know, especially kind of the cool drone content. Um, and then a lot of people just don't have necessarily the time or maybe the desire to go out exploring in the winter, especially in the snow when it's cold, but um, might you know enjoy sitting around on a Saturday morning or something and watch someone else do it. So. Um, Whatever content you guys would like to see, I'd really appreciate that feedback as well. Um, you know, if there's something that you especially like or don't like that I do, uh, I would you know want to take that all on board. So, um, really, I'm in kind of the the customer service business here because I want to make videos that you guys want to watch. And uh, you know, maybe there's something I haven't thought of or something I missed or something you guys would like to see more of. So I would love to uh, hear that kind of feedback. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, obviously this work has to get done one way or another, so I thought at least I'd film it and bring you all along. Thanks again for tuning in. Please subscribe if you haven't liked this video. If you do, uh, leave me any feedback you have or comments for future videos uh, in the comment section below, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.